We're back with Bryce Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. This is part 4. Um, the gang has officially left Coulter, the uh, small, small town of Coulter up in the mountains, and they've made their way down to uh, Horseshoe Overlook. Um, Jose, I just told Arthur that there's... Um, Lots of opportunity. There's a place nearby called Valentine um, with some jobs to do, some jobs to do around the camp. And this is kind of what I was talking about early on, where the game kind of opens up in a way. Um, from this point forward, it's kind of a lot more open. So, yeah, uh, the gang was successful in robbing the train. The spring, spring has finally come, winter is over, and they've kind of made their way south a bit, trying to look for more opportunity, a better living situation, and um, yeah, we're going to kind of walk around camp and see what opportunities await us and get going. Alright, this is part four. Oh, and Arthur shaved his face because uh, facial hair and hair in this game grow in real time, so I'm gonna, gonna keep Arthur looking cool. Alright. Good morning, Arthur. Hi, Dutch. Another day, another dollar. Yes, indeed. Well, we're still here. That's something. Alright, then. Hell of a morning. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Well, I'm sure you have it under control. We'll see you later. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? <laughs> well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. <laughs> All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means he got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse bolt lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> that uncle <laughs> oh, very funny this looks like a decent little town other people finally look at all that snow on the mountains sure don't want to be back up there you think we should have asked Molly to come with us oh no miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work she's a society lady now okay take a good look around ladies See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's <laughs> always on the right. Well, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Something else. <laughs> You got a problem? Wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. OK, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. 
Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Old stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get up for me. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Come on, Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. 
Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Posse riding through town last week, dragging some helpless farmer by goddamn road. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! <laughs> Waste my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. I hope, uh, everything okay. okay up there? Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Hey, that's my horse. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Dad. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I have it. 
I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. I never forget a face. This is your first time here, right? Seventy-six. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about... Pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. 
Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Hello. Hey, mister. Howdy. All right, Hello, stranger. You sure run into some nice folks out this way. Yeah. here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. 
You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Something else, Dick. I was a Christian and ended up on my ass. There we go. Yep. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I, I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Wait. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you saved me. 
come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for questioning. Oh, hey, you saved my life! <sighs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Really do not like you. Ha! temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Oh. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Why are you doing this? My lord, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. 
But I told you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Leviticus Cornwall's train robbers still at large. Beautiful day, ain't it? Miserable hot. You have yourself a good evening, partner. Great choice. Catch you some other time. You have a good evening. News isn't free. You need to buy it. Get your paper. Evening, friend. Hello, gentlemen. Evening. 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 Well, new marksman in town. Welcome. All the trouble in Valentine late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. You think you're the tough one out here? Think again. Look at you. Another coward trying to play it tough. You want me to set you straight, huh? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're done here! Lester. Next time, avoid me. Yep. So, with that, I'm just going to ride back to camp. It's kind of a good episode of checking out Valentine. Um, 
as you guys saw, just kind of random events that happened, like that O'Driscoll beefing with us, as well as tons of different things in the wild. Um, so, you can't always remember when things happen, but they might happen randomly. Only time I'm still gonna really talk is in this downtime. I got something here. saying uh, random events do happen and sometimes they happen pretty often so yeah if I'm interrupted during talking it's uh, you know, it's a break five. yeah seems like uh, Arthur and the Dutch Vangelin gang Kind of start to settle into Valentine, get to know people, start making some money. story first before bed. Anyways, we'll listen to this story and end it. Thank you for watching. That's episode four. Where I come from, we got to work for you lots. Wise. That's what you become. Wise. Oh yeah, that's how it seems to me. Big, tough men, robbers, hoodlums, proud degenerates, <laughs> turned into a bunch of Moaning women at the side, some lawman in a little snow. I mean, never seen anything so disgusting in my whole time. I met a lot of women, but you boys just about turned into the most womanly of all of them. And that's the truth. <sighs> Pearson. Oh, hello. You seem in a good mood. Hardly. Okay, maybe not then. Excuse me. Marston. Uh-huh, Morgan. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Whatever.
and then all hands to see Young Miss that dancing through the coffin minuet to Fred. Young Miss that dancing through the coffin minuet to Fred. But we go better when we've brought our poor tack to cat head. But we go better when we've brought our poor tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. A pan is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hound the forest friend, his pack the huntsman cheer. When horn and hound the forest friend, his pack the huntsman cheer. As loud as halloo when we send the broadside to Mount Seer. As loud as halloo when we send the broadside to Mount Seer. Come bustle, bustle, think about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out. How you doing, and then all hands to see. What's got it? See, we spend our shore and sweethearts and there. our wives. I mean, What's got it? I see, love we spend the girls. But my lord, they complain a lot. I mean, I've known worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone one way or another and here we've usually got food and we usually ain't scared i mean sometimes and we ain't never alone not here quite the opposite so i'm done with the whining i know we had a scene in the mountains but we're over that it's time to cheer up all of you. Morgan. Lady. Hey, Arthur. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. All right. I'll leave you to it. Okay, then. that once again that was uh part four of brace plays red dead redemption 2 thank you so much for watching see you guys next time <laughs>